So this is a nice biopsy. We have a punch biopsy here. And you can see uh, in the middle of the, uh, the specimen, there's this pink area kind of up forming a band. You can imagine this was like a wider plate-like lesion that we just punched uh, one punch down in the middle of. And what we have are, let's go over to this side. Unfortunately, it's kind of at a crooked angle here. But I think you can still see we've got bland fibroblastic or myofibroblastic cells running in nice organized fascicles. And these fascicles are running uh, parallel to the epidermis. See, they're, they're running parallel to the epidermis. They're kind of east to west orientation, just like the epidermis. Not vertical, but rather horizontal. And you can see as you go further down, there's more and more of them. These bundles of cells with bland nuclei and, and uh, background collagen. And they're very discrete bundles and they are parallel to the epidermis, and they are leaving the adnexal structures totally intact. They're kind of just going in between them, but they're not replacing the adnexa, which is kind of interesting. And so the, the parallel fascicles of bland spindle cells um, in pink bundles, that is what we call a dermatomyofibroma. And even though the name sounds like dermatofibroma, totally unrelated, I think they look very different from dermatofibromas. And also the name says myo, so you would think it would either be muscle or even myofibroblastic. But in fact, I, I don't know for sure, but I suspect that someone thought that these looked like bundles of smooth muscle, but they're actually not. They're actually fibroblasts or myofibroblasts, but it, you don't need to do a stain on these, in my opinion, for, for muscle markers, because actin is only going to be positive about half of the time. So even if it's actin negative, if it looks like this, I, I would still say, okay, it's still a dermatomyofibroma. So the parallel fascicles is the key. And um, uh, if you've not watched it, I've got a video called uh, about the ramen noodle sign. Fibroblastic and myofibroblastic lesions, they tend to get this really wrinkly, uh, rippled kind of um, uh, waviness to them that sometimes people see and they think is nerve. But actually when you go this pattern, it looks almost like ramen noodles taken dry out of the package. That usually is gonna be something that's fibroblastic or myofibroblastic, not neural and not usually smooth muscle. So uh, in any case, you, I'll put a link down below, you can watch that. But that's a clue right here that what you're dealing with, this is not smooth muscle, this is not nerve. These are actually fibroblastic cells. And this little artifact is actually a helpful clue. So dermatomyofibromas, they're benign. And the one other entity that could come up here, especially when you see fat entrapped in the middle of it, there's another entity that looks quite similar, in my opinion, and it's called um, CD34 positive fibroblastic connective tissue nevus. And even though the word says nevus, it's nevus in the sense of like birthmark, the old Latin meaning of nevus, uh, not melanocytic nevus. So as you probably know, there are a variety of lesions called nevus in, in dermatopathology that are not actually melanocytic nevi. Nevus sebaceus um, is a good example of, of that or benign epidermal nevus, which is kind of related to nevus sebaceus. It's a hamartoma of, of epidermal of, of keratinocytes and, uh, and is present in babies. And um, in any case, that's a topic for another video, but fibroblastic connective tissue nevus will be CD34 positive and it often trickles down into the fat. And because of that, you could kind of, you, CD34 positive and fat entrapment, you could think about um, dermatofibrosarcoma protuberans. Although I've seen a lot of DFSPs and I've never seen a DFSP that has this pattern of fascicles of hypocellular cells. DFSP can get fascicles that intersect when it becomes higher grade and fibrosarcomatous, but it's going to be very cellular and blue and high, closely packed cells when it does that look very, very different from this. So I've not seen before, and maybe I'll, I'll be proven wrong one day, but in so far, I've not, to my recollection, seen this pattern of such discrete fascicles of bland hypocellular spindle cells. I don't recall ever seeing that in a DFSP before. So that's the one thing that helps me is if I have CD34 positive and it's going into the fat but has fascicles like this, then it's probably a, a benign CD34 positive fibroblastic connective tissue nevus. And um, if you're having trouble, of course, you can do fish to exclude DFSP. But in this case, I think um, that I, this is not my case, um, but it was called dermatomyofibroma. So I suspect, I think that the fat here is just kind of incidentally um, around the anexa and got trapped up in the middle. I agree though with the parallel fascicles like this to me that's very classic for dermatomyofibroma but i wanted to bring up fibroblastic connective tissue nevus because it does come in the differential of this sometimes um, and it's good to know about so a nice example here of benign dermatomyofibroma um, and that's a, a good good example